everybody welcome to my channel all right in today's um this is what we are asked to find we are asked to find the value of p and the value of r <laughs> and we are given only 70 degrees there that means that we need to apply some theorems for us to get the value of p and the value of r okay let's do that right now number one is that this particular question now is from tangent of a circle under circle theorem because this particular line is a tangent this particular line is a tangent so first of all let us treat the theorem that this particular diagram is trying to uh, uh, examine us on okay first of all what is a tangent if you have a circle and there is a line drawn across the circle that touches the circle at just one point if you notice that just pardon my drawing but this particular um, what is it called? This particular line is supposed to touch the circle at just one point. That means that particular line is a tangent. Okay? Now, there is this theorem that says that if you draw a chord from the point of contact of a tangent to a circle, and you draw a chord, like this is the point of contact of this tangent to this circle. If you draw a chord from there, this is a chord. Remember that a chord divides a circle into two segments minor segments and major segments notice that this particular chord now divide the circle into two places this small part is the minor segment this big part is the major segment the only difference between a chord and a diameter is that a diameter will divide the circle into two equal parts now this is a circle if this is the center of the circle the diameter passes through the center to divide the circle into two equal parts do you understand but when it's a chord a chord will divide the circle into two parts but it will not be equal okay so you have a chord something like this is a chord because it did not pass through the center of the circle so it divides the circle into a, a into what a minor segment and a major segment this small part with minor segment this this bigger part will be major segments okay so that is the difference between a chord and a diameter of a circle. Now let's go back to what we are doing. So when you have a tangent and a chord drawn from the point of contact between the circle and the tangent, okay, the angle you form there, okay, is going to be equal to the angle formed at the alternate segment. Now notice that this particular chord now, okay, formed another angle. On the alternate segment that is the other segment of the circle now this particular angle now they say that this particular angle you have here is equal to this one here now you see if this is 70 degrees this should be 70 degrees I don't know if you are getting me now let us apply this to what we have here if you apply this to what we have here they say that this is a tangent this particular line is a tangent this is the point of contact between this tangent and this circle okay now there is a chord drawn from that point of contact and an angle formed and the angle they said is 70 degrees now this particular chord sustains an angle here and uh, in the alternate segment of the circle that is this particular part of the circle now is the major segment hope you know and this is the minor segment so this particular chord now sustains this angle here this particular angle let's call it hmm, Let's call this angle angle X. Okay, so it sustains this particular angle at the alternate segments of the circle. Now, that's from the what I just taught you here, or from what I just explained. It means that our X is equal to seventy degrees. Why angle on the alternate segments? Angle at the alternate segments. Okay, solution. Solution, solution, solution. Okay, that means that our x is equal to 70 degrees. Now, what is the reason? Angle in the what? In alternate segments. Angle in alternate segments. So, that is the main thing. And you believe me that once I am able to get this, and I am able to get this remaining one. I've been able to get P and R. It's a very simple thing. Now, let me shift so that you see what I'm going to do again. We have succeeded in getting this place to be what? 70 degrees. 
Now, this place is 70 degrees, but we all know that angle on a straight line is 180 degrees, right? Angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. What does that mean? Some of angle on a if you have something like this, okay, and you have, let's say, 20 degrees, they say that this X here, when you add this and this, they're supposed to give you 180 degrees, okay? So it means that this X is supposed to be what? 160 degrees, because the only way you say 20 plus 160, that you're going to get 180 degrees. And go on a straight line. Okay? Now, let us relate this to what we have here. If you look at this now, you notice that this particular side and this one, is they are on a straight line. Now, let's call this particular place S degrees. The small S. Okay? Let's call it S degrees. Now, how do we get our S degrees? So, we cannot say that S degrees plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle on a straight line. Okay? Angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line. Now, we are writing this particular reason. This is for the benefit of my students. So if you are a student and you want to sit for YEC or any exam, ensure that you write this reason for them because it has its own mark, okay? All right, this is angle on a straight line. Now, let's go ahead and get our S. Our S now is equal to 180. This plus 70, we cross this equation sign to become minus 70. So S will be equal to 180 minus 70, which is 110 degrees. Okay? All right. So you are succeeded, succeeded in getting this S to be 110 degrees. Now, let me shock you. Let me shock you for you to see that what you are looking for is very, very easy. Now, this is our triangle. I'm going to draw this triangle now. This one. Let me draw it out so that you see what we are looking for. We have something like this. We have something like this. Like this. Okay? Now, this is what we just found. This S here is what we just found as 110 degrees. Remember that there is a mark on these two lines. What does that mean? It means that this side and this side are equal. That means if from here to here is 10 cm, from here to here is also 10 cm. Now, it is telling us something. It is telling us that this is an isosceles triangle. When two sides of a triangle are equal, it is an isosceles triangle. And what does that mean? There is a theorem connecting that. A theorem says that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Now, what does that mean? You know this is our P, right? And this is our R. The numbers that we are looking for. It means that whatever we get here is also equal to whatever we are going to get here. Since they are base angles of an isosceles triangle. Are you getting me? Okay. If you have followed me to this level, it means that you really are interested in what I'm doing. So please, I would advise that you click on the subscription button. Please subscribe to the channel and also click on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I'm uploading a new video. So yeah, you so that you keep having access to my videos. Okay. All right. Now, how do we get our P and our R? I believe it's now very easy because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay. If that is so, that means that we have 110 here. The 70 remaining is being divided by this P and this R. Now, how do we get it? We need to solve it. We need to solve it. So, we now say that P plus, let's call this P and R. P is equal to, let's say P is equal to R, which is equal to X. Let's call them X. Okay. So, let's use X to solve, to mean this and this so that we don't get confused since they are equal. Now, we are going to get this. We are now solve that our S, which is 110, plus 2X. Because no, our P is X and our R is X. Okay? Alright, let's write it like this. X plus X. They are the same value. So, they need to be given the same variable. If you write P and you write R, you will be able to get the results. You keep looking for P and you keep looking for R. So, you need to give them the same variable okay so i gave them x and x all right is equal to 180 degrees now this is 110 plus x plus x is 2x is equal to 180 degrees now we have that i believe we are through with this side so let us just okay let's continue you might be able to get this 
So one it, it means that two x now is equal to one eighty minus one ten, right? Two x is equal to one eighty minus one ten, which is equal to seventy degrees. Now remember we are looking for x, not two x. Okay, we can say therefore our x is equal to seventy divided by two, which is what thirty five degrees. So it means. You can now, sorry, I have a, a very small pot and I don't want to clean this. I don't want to clean this. So you can now write, just pardon me, okay? Therefore, our P is equal to our R, which is equal to 35 degrees. And that is your final answer. Do have a lovely day and bye.